What's up, family? I had to stop what I was doing because of this comment that was left on TikTok. The comment said this. I question if it's actually the ego that leads us to have kids. How profound is that? How profound is that statement? Because wanting kids is a want, not a need. So we're already starting off from a very egotistical place. And then to top it off, we are then told that is the route to go. Just by looking at our peers, looking at society, looking how everything is organized based off of a nuclear family and keeping us close-knit not in a tribal mentality so that we can all have different viewpoints different philosophies different theories on this life so you're already being told you should want this out of life and you should want that out of life being passed down to you by someone else's ego what they wanted out of life so now you thinking you want that, but in reality, someone just told you to want that. It's called brainwashing at its finest. We have been brainwashed into believing that everyone should go down this pathway. That having kids is saving humanity. Having kids is building generational wealth. We are sold all these lies because they want to keep capitalism afloat more people makes more money more people makes more workers more people makes more jailmates more people makes more inmates more people makes more grave sites are you are you following this are you following this just like inmates have a number when they go into jail we have a social security number in this system to be identified we are being judged by this number from our credit stance if we want to buy something if we want to do something it is all for the money so we're taught that we're doing everyone a grand gesture by having kids not understanding this is really egotistical this is really selfish this is really not giving what it's supposed to give from a child's standpoint they're like hold up i'm getting ripped off here because most parents create this idea version in their head how the kid they want to be they want the kid to be a certain way they want the kid to do certain things they want the kid to follow their footsteps follow this path play the safe route because what if the kid wants to do them be their authentic self follow their highest truth their highest intuition they will call this kid a rebel or a bad kid because they're not following their beliefs their theory or listening to them brainwash them so it's always a good kid and a bad kid a good kid is usually the yes man the people pleaser following whatever anyone is ever telling them and then you got the rebel <laughs> that does whatever they want to do makes their own rules to this game of life this life is like a video game and you can play it in different ways but they keep you on level one they keep you on level one by just operating from your flesh you're so worried about other people who you can sleep with who you can fight with who you can be with instead of even focusing on self-mastery it keeps you distracted by having so many pointless relationships pointless people in your life so you can just avoid the truth of this journey is coming back to your soul so now you put all this stuff on your plate that capitalism wants you to do they want you to get married they want you to have kids they want you to go to school they want to keep you distracted and how to keep you distracted is by you desiring companionship you desiring romance so much to be laid up to be cuddled up and thinking that is the end all be all and 
in this journey. So everyone's playing this game so mediocre, if you ask me. It's so minor. It's like we're just playing on level one. And the only level that we're playing on is to be pair bonding with someone so we can have sex with them and have kids with them but what if you want to unlock another level to this game of life what if you really want to focus on self-mastery here you can never do that when you having all these damn kids now you have to worry about kids that you brung into this chaotic environment now you have anxiety now you have mental depression because you know it's not logical to bring kids in a fire because this world is not skittles and rainbows but we have been fed lies based off of desires from the ego desires from the flesh so we create this life that we want to control people in this reality for ourselves we want people in our lives just by possession and control and ownership and this is what we do definitely for kids and we get so upset when the kid does not follow into the brainwashing some parents think they are almighty they think that they know it all and they know you better than you know yourself the irony how can someone know you better than they know yourself most parents haven't even taken the time to practice self-development because they skipped over this step because they decided to listen to their ego by wanting kids or wanting romance or just wanting someone to love them or wanting to fit in or just a want not a need not a need so when you break down wants and your needs wants are usually very egotistical we wanting kids so we can control them we wanting kids so we can break generational curses because we feel like we know it better we feel like we can do a better job raising the kids than we were raised. So we're really just in competition with our own childhood traumas. Because overall, we're going to end up traumatizing these poor kids, whether you like it or not. Whether you do it unintentional or not. It's just the way the game goes. This is a game here. This is a game. And they keep us on level one because we're very ego driven we're listening to our flesh more than we're listening to our heart we're listening to other people instead of listening to ourselves we want to follow society like sheep instead of being true to ourselves and looking unique looking different being called this being called that because you're just not subscribing to the setup you're not subscribing to making your life harder you're not subscribing to capitalism we live in a capitalist society in america it is money driven it costs twenty thousand dollars to give birth if you don't have any health care add that up you still gotta live and then to put the icing on the cake you still gonna have to pay to die to be buried to get a casket to get a coffin like whoa if i'm the only one reading between the lines then hey call me selfish call me this call me that but wanting kids is usually very driven off of the ego when you break it down like that because you're already creating the idea of how you want the kid to be and then get upset and get mad when the kid is not listening to the brainwashing that you are subscribing them to when the kid is just not listening to you you call them bad you can't control anybody you don't have possession over anybody when you have a kid you have to let them be whoever they want to be you have to let them fly whether they want to soar high or soar low you have to let them be them but most people can't do that because they can't even accept themselves so how can they accept other people how can you genuinely operate from an unconditional place 
with your kid if you don't even have unconditional love for yourself if you haven't even practiced self-mastery you can never even really raise or teach kids properly how to follow their own inner compass or develop emotional intelligence come on come on they keep us in this rat race because of this because of the lack of knowledge because of the self-awareness that no one seems to have or no one seems to care to even develop they rather find someone they can have sex with and worry about that than worry about themselves the only thing that you should ever be worried about is your damn self but they keep you boxed in by being worried about everybody else but your damn self look here look at there y'all thank you for coming to my ted talk <laughs> I am done. I am done. <laughs> I am done. Please hit the links below. Let me know what you think. We are available now for one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. So I look forward to seeing you on the other side, family.